What's going on guys and welcome to the guide. My name is Valerio and hopefully today's video will help you guys add some variety to your offensive gameplay. First things first though, a quick reminder that if you're interested in our content on Instagram as well, be sure to check the link for everything uh, related to that in the description. And of course, a big, big thank you to all of you for helping us get to our first thousand followers on there. We'll be going strong with content there as well. In terms of today's topic, we'll be covering skill moves and more specifically our top five picks for advanced skill moves worth learning in FIFA 20 uh, but of course if you haven't already seen our first uh, top five video on skill moves definitely check that out we posted that at the beginning of FIFA 20 and it covers more basic skill moves very very important to get familiar with those before moving on to anything more complicated now the skill moves we're going to be talking about today range in difficulty from uh, moderately difficult to extremely challenging but they are worth the trouble and that's always the key because as fun as skill moves are you have to find the balance between fun difficulty and effectiveness it's totally fine if you want to learn the most flamboyant skills possible but in the interest of providing you guys a good mix our choices rely heavily on their utility so without further ado let's get straight into the first advanced skill move The heel chop turn is probably the most complicated of the lot today so before we get into the turning aspect of it let's have a quick reminder of how to do the first part in the heel chop. To simply heel chop while moving and holding L2 perform a fake shot by pressing either circle then X or B then A depending on your console and then aim to a side either up or down to decide where to exit. Now for the second phase, this is where the timing gets tricky. Nothing in the first part changes, but as soon as you're done with the heel chop, you quickly aim the left stick to the opposite direction to where you exited. This is definitely something that takes some getting used to, but the grind could be worth it considering how rarely you encounter anyone who uses this, so you're sure to have opportunities to leave your opponents very, very confused. As tough as it is to implement this at first into your game, mostly because consistently pulling it off is the real challenge, once you do, it is incredibly rewarding. Now the heel chop by itself leaves a lot to be desired, and it kind of leaves you with little to no momentum as soon as you complete one. As a result, when people see you heel chop, they are inclined to run at you. For that reason, this is why this is the perfect bait. When someone chases you and you heel chop turn, they're expecting to get the ball easily because they don't expect the turning aspect of it, or at least they're expecting to put pressure on you. So if you can pull the skill off, you'll get a great turning animation that more often than not will leave the defender behind quite easily. The lateral heel to heel is new to the game with FIFA 20 and it's an interesting one for an advanced skill move as it only requires you to use a 3 star skiller, opening this really effective move for tons and tons of players. First off, to perform it, simply hold L1 or LB on your controller and then flick your right stick down and then flick it up to exit upwards. Now if you want to exit downwards, just flick it up first and then exit downwards. Also, as you can see from the live controller on the screen, the right stick flicks like with any skill move will change depending on the position of your player as you won't always find yourself in a situation where you are dribbling from left to right in a straight line. As always, I recommend the skill games to get accustomed to any and all angles with every single skill move. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I definitely recommend watching the first video on more basic skill moves that we released at the start of FIFA 20. That's because the lateral heel to heel, while more advanced, has some if not a lot of similarities to the ball roll in terms of what it can bring to you in your build up play. What it does is that it allows you to exit away from incoming pressure, so for that reason I personally really like to use it not only in my build up play, but when I find myself passing around a crowded box like many times this FIFA. It definitely has its use in the final third as well as when you need to cut inside but in those situations i feel like it's too easy to give the ball away as your player just exits without guarding the ball like he would for example in the three touch roulette for that reason i personally prefer this using similarly to the way i would with the ball roll creating an angle and using it to move away from incoming pressure
Nagigiri Spin is one of the most popular 5 star skill moves from the past few years. It's basically the 5 star version of the Burba Spin, which again, if you are interested in, we covered it in a wing play video from last week, so definitely check that out. Main difference besides appearance to the Burba Spin is that you exit the animation a lot quicker. To perform it, while never ever holding down the sprint button, as doing so would risk triggering the Burba Spin, flick your right stick in the direction that you're currently going, and then either up or down depending on where you want to exit. With a motion that allows you to make almost a 90 degree turn, the Megiddy Spin is a skill move that is obviously going to be very useful on the wing to cut inside. But an underweighted way to use this is arguably when under pressure anywhere on the pitch and the opponent is approaching you side on. You can Megiddy Spin away and do a pass shortly after the maneuver without risking a poor left stick turn to get away. This skill also comes in handy when you notice you're facing a player who runs at you but never really presses tackle. That way, the animation is too quick for him and you can just swiftly turn by him before an automatic lunge can be done by his player. If you're in a situation where your opponent runs back with a striker or a cam, this is also very useful. He will risk over committing or at the very least struggle to control the maximum pace of the player he controls. So doing this as he approaches is really easy because you know that if he's controlling someone coming from behind you, you know you don't have to worry about defenders ahead of you, so it's very easy to time. Nonetheless, with its quick execution and versatility, this is always a must-have in your arsenal of skills because you never know when you'll need it. The 3-touch roulette is a skill mode that will require you at least a 4-star skiller to use. To perform it, simply hold down L2 on PlayStation or LT on Xbox and then flick the right stick to the opposite direction to which you are running. Then flick it either up or down depending on the direction you want to exit. So if I'm performing it to cut into the box and the box is below me, I'll exit flicking the right stick downwards. I'll be exiting upwards when I'm on the opposite side of the pitch and I want to exit upwards. Now it's no coincidence I mentioned cutting in the box because this skill move works the best when trying to cut in from the wing. It was actually one of the skill moves suggested in our how to master wing play video. So if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely do so so you can see more on this skill move in that style of video. Still, as you can see from the examples, the reason why this skill move is so good to help you cut inside is because it offers you a relatively quick turn to change direction and angle of your dribble while also getting your back and blocking off the opposing defender. So when you exit, you'll be able to look up, find someone in and around the box, or maybe shoot or just simply continue your attack while at the same time having a low risk movement to block off the opposing defender. Once you've mastered it on the wing, which is arguably the safest area for any skill move, you can get creative and start using the fact that the skill move turns you 180 degrees to your advantage in the center of the pitch and get some easy goals that way by beating the defenders, catch them off guard, and get an easy shot on target. Being a 5 star skill, you will need 5 star skillers like Neymar or Mbappe to perform the Elastico. As you can see from the large controller on the screen, to perform it, you'll need to make a half circle motion to the back of the player. So, if you're moving from left to right, you push the right stick down and make a half circle until your right stick is aiming up. When you dribble from right to left, the motion is the same, just reversed as you'll begin the motion by pushing your right stick upwards and then completing a half circle until your right stick is aimed down. It's also worth mentioning that regardless of what dominant foot your player has, the Elastigo player will always be performed by the player's right foot. On the screen you can see Di Maria, a left footed player with a 2 star weak foot, performing the Elastigo with his right foot. This is actually really important for left footed players because the Elastigo will allow you to set up a shot on your left foot every single time because you're always performing it on your right foot. While it is true that the Elastico is a great move to use in 1v1 situations to beat a defender, I feel like thinking that way limits the way you would use it and you risk simply running straight ahead to a defender without thinking about the angles. The skill move allows you to take a sharp turn through the animation, and when you start realizing that, you'll adjust the way you use it and go from simply spamming it in 1v1 situations at any angle to realizing the best angles to use it from so you can get the most out of it. What I mean is that rather than using it when running straight ahead towards the defender, even if that might work, 
it'll work even better when you're doing so from an angle. In the end, you want to be running straight towards the net, but running at an angle can disguise that, while the elastico helps you get by the opponent and put you back in a straight line of sight towards the goal. Whether it's to cut inside, move away from pressure, bait someone into overcommitting, or simply to add variety to your gameplay, skill moves are very, very useful in FIFA. Whichever variations you decide to try and implement within your gameplay, like I've said before, there is no better place than the skill games to get used to them. After all, it allows you to spam the inputs in every situation imaginable, allowing you to get used to adjusting the angles of the analog sticks depending on how you're positioned on the field, and that's super, super important because you can never predict what you're going to be facing and how you're going to be positioned in the actual game. Now, that's going to be it for me today. I hope this was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.